Hello and welcome back. I am Big Squirrel, this is Koromon, and we are still on the dojo grounds trying to make our way up. And it looks like we are going to get in a fight. I wasn't sure she turned away. In this world, there is only one Pergy Master, and that's me. Libby, hit him with everything you got. Don't hold back. Is that Libby? Libby's not even paying attention. Libby? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to do a better noise than, than this standard Pergy noise. Okay, I I didn't realize it was going to be a thing that Pergy was uh, not paying attention. Also, I want one of those Pergies. That is a uh, perfect stat Pergy, and I, I want that. Also, going to destroy this one, but I like them. I like the dark color. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I haven't gone... If I get a new Cormon for the team, I want to make it a perfect one, and I haven't had the time to do that yet, but... Now that I've seen the, the Dark Pergy, uh, maybe I'm going to risk it. Risk it? Spend the time on it. L Libby, are you okay? No, Libby's not okay. Libby, no worries, my faithful friend. It's not your fault. Purr, purr, purr. Okay, sure. Eh? Pergy ears. Okay. <laughs> I doubt that those are uh, gonna have any interesting effects. They just look nice. I still want the money, though. I still want the money, especially if I'm gonna be... I think I am gonna take the time to go get a Pergy probably after I finish this episode. Is this the right way or the wrong way? This is the way that we get into a fight with... Not something new? Ta-da! Yeah. So as you may have noticed there, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do I do the thing? Where's the module? There it is. Ah, ah ha ha, go me. I had forgotten that that was a thing, but now I remember and I feel more powerful than ever. Um, hmm. There's something else, okay, there's a fight. And it's just a hound dose. I ran from that one, cause I felt bad. I was so over-leveled for it. A another? Already? Okay. Okay, we're out. Anything? No. It looks like there should be... Oh, there's no way up over there. Never mind. This we can get. Skill flash 18. Already straight into another skill flash. Where are you? There you are. Whoosh skill. What do? User launches a speedy whoosh of wind. Got it. The power increases with the speed of the user and decreases with the speed of the target. Oh. I don't think any of mine are fast enough for that to matter. That is an interesting idea, though. If you have a really fast one. I think Volcadon might be fast enough for that to matter. But, eh. Also, same with this fight. Okay. Nope. Well, at least we're at the building. I assume this is where we need to go. And it looks like it has a little four-legged... It wouldn't be an octopus. Quadrupus? Sitting over the middle. Check that out in a second. Eh? May the inner fire of the Order of the Sun shine on forever. That's... Cool. That sounds like a Pelor thing from Dungeons and Dragons. Eh? Ha ha! I love that. It's just a regular spinner? Just a plain, nothing special one? Sure. I love that item, though. That is so cool. Eh? Oh. But I want to steal things. You know what? I'm going to go steal things before we get to it. Nice. I saw one up there. Toxic scent. Don't really care too much about that. Okay. Who are you peoples? Growing and styling bonsai helps us to be more calm and patient. Light Sensei says that our body can't grow stronger if the mind stays behind. Uh, sure. Before coming to this dojo, I was a mess. But Light Sensei changed my whole way of thinking. My whole way of living. Now I feel like I can take on the entire world. You can even beat Ryu. Because his name was Ken. 
Ah, ha, 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 it's a street. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I need to explain Street Fighter to people, but maybe I do. Dip fruit. Oaky fruits. Are these all the different types? Ooh, some down here as well. Attack kick? Defense kick. This manip dummy is used by students for versatility training. How do you know that? And they're the same. Hi, I kind of dig your hair. Brunhilda, nice name. We train here not for the sake of beating up our enemies, but for enlightenment. However, sometimes I just need to vent. Then I feel like enlightening these dummies with my fists. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. It's a healthier way of getting it out there. Ooh, both drawers. Tommy cake. Skill flash. <laughs> I suddenly feel a bit guilty taking everything I find from these people. But they're the ones that left them laying around. Attack the target with a powerful flying kick and increases the user's crit chance. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to see if Yuka Claw can use it just for hilarity's sake. Nope. Nope. I feel like Malavite might be the only other one that could, potentially. Nothing. Okay. I know you're not the one master, but let's do it. Daniel? Really? <laughs> also Karate Kid? Light Sensei says the training is all about finding balance. So that means if I'm doing chores now, someday I'll be the Sensei and others will do my chores. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, don't go wax a car or something. Hello, Light Sensei. My name is Squirrel. I've come to request your aid. Light Sensei? Light Sensei is in a deep meditation. Uh, please do not disturb him. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, of course, he's just asleep. Oh, it seems a guest is in at our midst. Greetings! Yes, Light Sensei, I'm Squirrel. I need your help. And what could an old man do for such a young person? The entrance to Mount Muspel was completely blocked by a rock slide. The townspeople are requesting your help. Would you be able to break the boulder that's blocking the mine? Uh, the strong will forgive, the intelligent will ignore. Thus, I have already done both. But as much as my worldly desires flare, I'm afraid I can't help you. Do you see this bonsai squirrel? It took years for this bonsai to grow large and sturdy. Yet, even after its long struggle to grow and thrive, one day it will wither. For me, that day has already arrived. I can no longer perform the Stonebreaker technique, as was my calling. Is there anyone else that could break the boulder? Hmm. My students have not been brought up for the task. Why not? It seems like a major failing. On one of my strolls through the forest, I found this sapling. It had delicate branches, but it seemed to have a solid, sturdy base. I gave it a chance, and from beneath its bewildered appearance rose a beautiful bonsai. Perhaps your bark is similar to that sapling's, but you were talking about the core and the base. If I could pass on the Stonebreaker to a worthy individual before I get too old, my heart would be at peace. And then you could smash the boulder yourself. That does sound cool. However, it is not so simple as that. Since you haven't trained in my dojo before, you must realize this training will demand your mind and body to be at its peak. Anything worth doing is difficult, Light Sensei. That's not true. Yes, that is very true. No, it's not. Please, leave some wisdom for your elders. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, so we best start stepping. Young one, you know where the reflex pole is stored. Can you grab it for me? Uh, what? Uh, where is... Were you talking to me? Daniel, pay attention. Even when you think nobody pays attention to you. Apologies. I'll set up the reflex pole right away. Um, uh, okay. Uh-oh. The stone breaker is not something to be used in anywhere. But when things go wrong, one needs to be capable of handling its consequences. 
After the first discipline, you will have to master his reflexes. Daniel, give me a number! Uh, 22? 22. That is as good a number as any. 22 it is, Squirrel. 22 what? He who thinks too much about every step he takes will always stay on one leg. If you're in the right mindset, try and give me a high five. Training will begin when our hands touch. What? How do I how do I jump? I don't have a module for that. High five? Uh high five? Talk? Mist! Come now, I'm just an old man. What? What am I supposed to do? Uh, Daniel, can you enlighten me on this one? Lightsensei says that training is all about finding balance. Okay, that's... Yep, you said that one before. Uh... What? Clear your mind. Focus your mind. Feel. Use your senses. Surrender your body to the world around you and your reflexes will increase a thousandfold. Find the pattern and timing. Clear 22 jumps. Ow. Failure is the mother of success, Squirrel. Eh, failure is failure. Come, try again. Fortune favors the bold, Squirrel. You need to clear 22 jumps. Yeah, I also needed to know how fast the jump was. Clear your mind, focus your mind, feel, use your senses. Surrender your body and all that junk. Here it goes. Okay. Ooh, speedy. I'm not gonna try to count. Oh, it slowed down. I feel like I'm barely making it. Oh, there's a counter at the top. I wasn't paying any attention to that either. Is it gonna slow down again? Uh. I'm just enjoying the squeaky noise. That was fun. A score of 32! Patience is a bitter plant, but its fruit is often the sweetest. What? You have learned to jump. Now we may teach you how to run, in a sense. What? The next training will prove your dexterity. Meet me in the arcade hall on the top floor of Valama's Vayner Hub. I had so much trouble saying that. I'll race you there! Uh... Cheater? Okay, well, if all I gotta do is run back down, then there's not really a reason to show that. There we are. I see you. Squirrel, I've been expecting you. Of course, you told me to come here. And thus, it is here that my journey ends. I'm sorry I didn't mean to distract you. No worries, Squirrel, it's not your fault. Playing games is not about the high score, but the journey to reach that point. I know you could achieve an even higher score than I once you set your mind to it. This training will teach you hand-eye coordination and perseverance, a metaphor for the challenges one must face when using the stone breaker. I won't disappoint you, Light Sensei. Disappointment only comes with giving up. Reach a score of 250. That will teach your hands to withstand the power of the stone breaker. Give it your greatest again and again, Squirrel. I, I did way more than that. Yeah, I've done 474. Uh, I guess I'll do it, just in case. <laughs> Not that... Part of the reason I do these videos is so I can do stuff to, like, help people know how to do the things, but this one, this one and the jumping one. This is also a jumping one. Why am I doing two jumping ones in a row? Anyway, this... <laughs> This isn't really, like, helping people with strategies. This is just hitting a button over and over again. Yep. That is cool. Some of the, uh... What are those? Slither pins? They're in different colors. I like the bluey ones. Although, I don't think I'm gonna go... Ah, that's right, I don't have to jump over everything. I can... Why do Purgies keep showing up? We fought a Purgy, got Purgy ears, and now they're in this game. The game just wants me to... You know, okay, I've gotten over. It's fine. We're not trying again. I did it! I beat the high score! Persistence always wins in the end. I've gotten a higher score, though. You continue to impress me with your progress, Squirrel. Like the tender sapling, you have strong roots hidden beneath. 
Are you talking about my butt? But your training is not quite over yet. We must return home for the grand finale. Let's meet in front of the dojo. Want to race again? <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, all the way back up there. And here we are. Finally! It seems victory is mine yet again. Yes, you're quite fast for an old man. So what is the final discipline? It is not the knowing that is difficult, but the doing. What? Here, yeah, take this. White paint? Paint? What do I need paint for? It's all in the wrist, squirrel. Up and down. Up and down. Return when the fences around the dojo are completely white. Oh, you. Uh-huh. What? How much do I need to do? Benches... Uh, it's not really painted to perfection. <laughs> are they all gonna be this slow? Looks like I need to hit every section at least twice to cover the whole thing. Oh, how many of these are there? Because this is gonna just take time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I feel bad for Daniel. Dude's been doing this forever. And yes, that was in the Karate Kid. I remember that. When you had to hold the paintbrush the right way. Come on. I'm just trying to think of things to say because I'm so deep into this now, I feel like I can't cut it. Okay, I see you. Saw you earlier. Do I have to go onto the other side? Is well? no, the other side there was a cliff thing. Eh? Yeah. I hope that's enough. Are we done? It seems you missed a spot. One must wax on, wax on again, when completing such tasks. Uh... I feel like it, uh, there weren't any on the... Okay, there it is. I was going to say, there weren't any on the way up. Ugh. I've come to hate this old man, and it didn't take long. It usually takes a lot longer for me to start hating old people. I don't know if that's insulting or a good thing. Maybe. Just less patient with younger people, I guess. Oh, come on. Something cool? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah? Oh, you have impressive fence painting skills. All right, now we can go inside for the final discipline. Wait a minute, wasn't this the final training? Training? Who said it was part of your training? Not I. This fence just needed a new lick of paint is all. I'm gonna burn you, old man. Now then, give me the paint. Hmm. Let us retire inside. Yeah, I don't. I, mm. Old people. Fret not, we're nearly there, squirrel. You've shown your competence in almost every discipline of my dojo. But now, ho oh, ho ho, now, the time has come. You must face your master in a Koromon battle. Very well, Light Sensei. My Koromon and I are ready. Oh, one should not jump to conclusions. This is no regular battle. Users of the Stonebreaker need to make wise decisions. Make them under all circumstances. You shall not be allowed to use any items, and you shall only fight with Gormon you catch with my special spinner, Squirrel. What? One, one cannot fight with empty spinners, Light Sensei. Certainly not. You must fill them yourself. Use those spinners to catch a new squad of three. You will not get the chance to train them, so strategize wisely based on the information you get on my squad. I will use a fire type, an ice type, and a water type. All are five levels higher than your squad. Okay, then I will go and catch three Cormon with these spinners. I await your return, Squirrel. Oh, okay. Uh, I wonder how far back I can go. So, fire, ice water oh we'll see what i can get ta-da <laughs> back uh i went and got a blazitar and hound trion 
right? Altrion? Uh, from out in front of the dojo, and I went all the way back to Vermeer Grotto for a water type Swampa, something like that. So, yeah. Hopefully, we should be good to go. Oh, you've returned. How did you fare in your search? I have decided on three Cormon, and I am ready to take you on with the squad. Then I suppose it is time to commence the battle, Squirrel. Take your position. Yep. No tricks. This is the true final test, Squirrel. The culmination of all your training. If you win, you will have what it takes to master the Stonebreaker technique. That's awesome, but... How does a... How does a Cormon battle actually help me learn how to do that? That... <laughs> that hasn't been, uh... Explained. I can yell commands at animals, and that means that I can break a rock. I, I, I don't get it. Uh, yeah, this one. Perfect. <laughs> That's why I wanted Haltrion in here. Although I do want one of those turtles. Those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they are cool. Arturos. Which means that we switch to Blazitar. Who, as you saw when we first, first popped into the fight, still leans to our left, it looks like. Really? Really? Oh, and the knockdown, that's not good. I actually don't know which of these is better to use. That's two to three times. You know what, we're gonna go with piercing horns. Recovering and unable to move. Really, and then a critical hit? Uh, okay. It should do a lot of work, but... Ooh, and the burn. Nice. Please don't knock me down again. Got damaged by its burn. Nice, we didn't get knocked down. That burn was just enough damage that this should do it. Ah, uh, really? Oh well. At the end of its turn, it'll, it'll get knocked out. The burn. Nice. Well, it's cool that these things are leveling up. Do I get to keep them? Because I would very much like to keep them. Let's see, I don't care about that. It's a physical attack, and I think Blazitar is mostly a other thing. Whatever it is. Houndtrion. Oh! I, I don't know. It's not like this particularly matters. Sure. Ruptious? What a name. Alright. Swampa! Do your thing! Whatever that is. Really? I guess that wasn't a butt attack, it was lower back, but come on now. Huh, that Ruptious doesn't have as high of a max HP as some of the others. <laughs> Kidney punch. Alright. Should just be the end. This was also not a difficult fight. I just took a little bit of time to run back. Also, I have a feeling these uh, spinners that we got from Light Sensei were like 100% catch rate. Because I caught all of these without damaging them in any way whatsoever. The student becomes the master. Ha! Take that, Daniel. Impressive. Extremely impressive. I have been bested fair and square. Squirrel, you are the first to master all the Stonebreaker disciplines. So quickly, too. You're an example to my students. With the right mindset, anything is possible. Remember that, Daniel. Welcome all to Squirrel's Stonebreaker ceremony. Squirrel, please step forward. You came to this dojo as a tender green sapling with a sturdy foundation. But you leave here as a solid tree with mighty branches. You mastered every discipline and have shown yourself worthy as my successor. 
as the new wielder of the Stonebreaker. I don't have to teach anyone, do I? I'm honored, Light Sensei. Awesome, well done! You deserve it. My dear Daniel, can you grab the Stonebreaker from the safe? What? The Stonebreaker technique is in a safe? Yes, after a certain age, one can no longer rely on their body, and instead we can find assistance in technology. Ah, uh, if I realized that sooner, I might have still kept in touch with Pele. What? <laughs> That's lame, dude. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Squirrel? Install the module. Alright, thanks. Trimmer module. It's not even called Stonebreaker. The trimmer is great and powerful. It requires a capable wielder who can channel its force towards certain objects. That is what you have mastered, Squirrel. Perhaps even without your knowing. In your hands, it is safe to use. Why don't you try it out? Give the students a little show. Should I hit him with it? Behold, students. Squirrel has mastered the disciplines of Light Dojo and can now wield the Stonebreaker with ease. Does that reignite a fire in you, students? Perhaps it makes you wish to be stronger. So you best get back to training. Thank you for attending. Now you'd better get going, my fully grown bonsai. That boulder won't destroy itself. Really? <laughs> really did? It's just a module. I should have known. Yeah, so... I'm, like, really questioning on my whole walk down who made this module, and could we have just bought one somewhere? Leo, it's time for a break! You want me to stop hacking, Squirrel? This here mine needs to be up and running again as soon as imaginable. Trust me, leave this to me. What do you mean? If I clear my mind, center my focus, and then... Use a module. Mm-hmm. That was the Stonebreaker. How? Why? Uh-huh. Where did all the little rocks go, though? The boulder. It's like it wasn't even there. That was the unmistakable sound of the Stonebreaker. I knew it. But where did Light Sensei hide? Is he inside the mine? It was heckin' Squirrel over here. Squirrel destroyed that boulder in a snap with a zap. Come, everyone. Let's head inside. We have a lot of work to catch up on. I could thank you, but that wouldn't be doing it justice, Squirrel. Let's say you're going to do nothing instead. So, Light Sensei, he really decided to pass on the Stonebreaker? Even if things weren't always great between him and me, I'm glad he found peace with a worthy successor. With all of the great things Lux Solus is doing, he too must see that we should keep up with technology. If Light Sensei embraces technology, he should be fine with me upgrading the devices around here to the newest models. Finally, no more noise complaints. Uh, yeah, I knew about that, and all the problems you had. Did, did they mention noise complaints before? I don't remember. Wait, no, no, no. It's in here. It's in... There it is. You know what? I'll save that for later. We're doing this right now. After I checked my milestones. Did I get something? I did. Burr fruit. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I guess because burr is a sound you make when it's cold. Let's go inside. We'll stop rambling. Go inside. Those look like mushrooms, but they're tiny and I can't get to them. So, this, this is what the mine looks like. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. Except, since we're just standing here. Eh? Yes. A golden spinner. Why was there a golden spinner in the dirt? No one's ever going to know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that does it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be running through the mine and seeing what it is we need to do here. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of, like, sand and fire stuff. So, probably going to go back to crab time. <laughs> yeah. So, that does it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you really liked it and you want to see more, subscribe button's down there too. If you want to support me and the channel and see all of the bloggy things that I keep posting, you know, my thoughts about what's going on and and one little announcement that's uh, 
special and, and hidden right at the moment. Yeah. Then uh, my Patreon link is down in the description. And I will see you in my next video. Later. <laughs>